Hey everybody, Rod Oden, head football coach, Harper Woods High School, Harper Woods, Michigan. Also the father of Jacob Oden, 2024 defensive back at Harper Woods, Michigan. Jacob plays cornerback. I was asked to uh, make a few comments about XBA and how Jacob has changed in his time with XBA and training with John Vickers and his staff. Well, first and foremost, um, prior to going to XPA, Jacob was young. Number one, he was about 11 years old. I wasn't sure if I wanted to introduce him to weights that early. But after watching John work with some of my older ball players and the work that he did with them made me feel more comfortable to go ahead and start his strength and conditioning at such a young age. So prior to going in, Jacob was a uh, quiet, introverted uh, not really strong, you know, um, probably can do a lot of body weight exercises, but not very many. Lot, uh, I would liken him to being, I guess, clumsy. Always had big feet for his size. I think now he's a 14 and a half, almost 15 shoe. Back then he was a 10 or 11 at nine years old. So he was clumsy in terms of his movements and um, getting used to his body. Uh, his journey has been one of progress. Uh, I've seen him make tremendous strides in the three or four years he's been with XPA in terms of strength, number one, uh, mobility, agility, uh, his uh, plyometrics in terms of uh, his measurements are um, that of probably 11th or 12th grader. I know he has a 10 foot broad jump. He has a 34 inch vertical he can bench press about 185 pounds now, and um, he's made tremendous strides in several areas. And I know that's all due to the training that he receives with XPA. Um, those are some of the results he's received. He hasn't trained really in the last, uh, I guess, since the season that he's been suffering from a nagging hamstring injury. But as soon as he's done with that, he should be cleared on the 1st of December, which is about 10 days or so from now, he'll start back training with John and XPA again so he can continue to get better going into his sophomore year. Um, words of encouragement that I would have for anybody on the fence. One, you know, do your research, you know, on any other training companies. There are some great ones out there, but do your research. Find a great fit for your kid, you know, from a uh, – standpoint of growth and development and that's really what the key should be the things that you want to see is what have these guys done with guys similar to my student athlete and you know what kind of gains have they made you know I had the privilege of having several of my athletes train under John and he did a great job with them so naturally he came highly recommended from some of my older college guys and some of the pro guys that I've had the chance to coach. So I would just encourage people to do their research, learn about the person that's going to be working with your kid, because um, that development is really, really key, especially at this age. You don't want any major setbacks. But uh, I would definitely recommend you give XPA a shot. They've done a great job with mine. I didn't feel like they loaded him down and put a heavy weight on his back and asked him to squat and lift and all these things. They taught him gradually how to power cling and the natural movements and the right progressions and, you know, great form and technique so that he could be safe while doing these exercises. So I recommend that you find a great teacher, somebody that's passionate about what they do, and you'll find both of those things in XPA with John Vickers.